Luke, in the presence of God, our family and friends, I take you to be my husband. You are an answered prayer and I will spend the rest of my life thanking God for you. I promise to care for you for all my days. I promise to respect, trust and encourage you, inspire you just as you inspire me and to love you unconditionally as Christ loves us. I will honour your goals and dreams and help you fulfil them. I promise to give you love, honesty, trust and commitment. From the depth of my being, I vow to be a loving, devoted wife, to be vulnerable and understanding, to aim to respond with an open heart and mind. Luke, I promise all of this and more, knowing and believing God is in the midst of it all. If I don't do anything else, I just want to love you well. If I don't do anything else, I just want to love you well, love you well. If I don't do anything else. If I wasn't already wrecked writing this, then wow. Seeing you walk down the aisle as the most beautiful bride in the world will completely undo me. When I first met you, I knew there was something incredibly special and mysterious about you. Something that left me literally praying to God as a 16 year old high school kid, please let me marry this girl one day. Well, five years later, here we are in that innocent, funny little prayer that I thought would ever be heard has actually come true. God knew more than we did and planned the path for our relationship from the moment I opened my Bible. Prayer after prayer, seeking God's approval and God show me the man you were and the man you are becoming and I knew you were the man I was going to marry. You, my Luki, are one special man who I love with my whole heart. Monica, I love you and take you to be my wife. For the rest of our days, I will cherish you, care for you and honour you with all that I am. I will lead you towards God, the source of all our love, our joy and our life, knowing that He is the reason we stand here today and will continue to be our reason. <sighs> for all that we do, both here and for eternity. I'll protect you, comfort you, and commit to you alone. And truly treasure how much I've been blessed to have you as my wife. Into my soul, into my I can't deny I 
speech it is suggested that I offer some timely advice to the newlyweds for their future together and of course my advice to them really is quite simple it's Jesus there's no doubt that you two are the perfect match for each other and it's because of Jesus in this cornerstone you have both built your individual and private lives upon when no one else has been watching that has and will continue to shine through you both for all the world to see and it is clearly being witnessed right now